Hey guys, everything looking at uh, two here. And this is finally system test three. Fire alarm system test three. Here we go. <laughs> All right, a lot of things has changed, and I figure you remember in my other videos that I was showing an Arduino fire alarm panel. Well, it's here, it's built and it's ready. So, for all uh, for those who are going to see, um, we're going to go over the the uh, test. And I think you also also heard. Uh, I think you also seen a sneak peek of the fire alarm system while I was doing security system tests. So I think here it is. So I'm going to show you um, the pull stations and the alarms and stuff. So uh, we'll go over that now. So we got a Simplex uh, 4099-9006 pull station. Uh, this is from this is by the door, by the front door. Now it's over here now. And the alarm we got for today is the Wheelock 7002T. Uh, this, uh, this one's a broken strobe on it, so I converted it to a light. Now it's a horn light now. <laughs> so, uh, we so we call it the march time on the panel. <clears throat> Over here, turn it for a second. Over here, we have, we have a Firelight BG12. Whoops, shouldn't show you that, but here's the announcer from my, from, from my panel. We'll see the panel in a second. So here's the announcer for it. So, so, uh, so now it's here for the panel. Wait and see what it is. And here's the uh, we like ex S exceeder. We like exceeder uh, STR. Um, I think it's set to. I think it was set to. Set to thirty candela. Not back here yet. In the bathroom, we have in the restroom. We have a uh, Wheelock RS strobe. Six Canelo, fifteen size twenty five. So here is the panel right now. Here it is. It is a Arduino based panel I made. Let's get out of there. So this is it right here. Some light on here so you can see you can see um in this little what where his aluminum foil is that's the uh, the main board controls everything here it is right here the zone uh, terminal right here the um the horns and strobe uh, and axe are there in the same with smoke power speaking of smoke detectors i have should have a boss you do something there we go Focus there. Bosch D two seventy three smoke detector, uh, four wire detector, because this panel only works for four wire detectors. And so yeah, down there that's the uh, March time encoder. That's gonna be encoding the seven thousand two T up there. So we'll uh, get started. It's set the March time. You can tell by the flashing L light that's on there. So we'll uh, give it a second. Now sometimes this panel will go off when there's an EMI. Uh, you might discharge from a motor or um, for a light. Uh, that that horn that horn strobe has a built-in light. I just put it in there. Um, we'll actually uh, keep going. We'll keep going off in a different zone, even though it's not active. But however, it will go off when there's no active zones. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, this is the new panel I made. It still needs a lot of work. I'm still trying to get rid. I'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of the. Uh, the um 
the EMI detection. Try and get rid of that. Um, let me know in the comments below how you do that because that's I, I'm trying to figure this out how to get rid of the EMI that's you know that gets it going off and stuff. Uh, please send me a comment for that. I'll let you know. So, yeah, I guess we'll go on to the system test, shall we? I guess we'll pull the. Oh, let me make sure I have. Oh, wait, gotta make sure this is plugged in here. That's the UPS for the panel. Plug that in there. There. Right up here. And here we go. Okay, flash first. Here we go. Zones are active, only these zones are active. Is this what I'm telling you about? Silence. <laughs> that thing is so loud. I'll put different codes too to show you. Um, the March time encoder has code 3. Uh, Temporal code, slow march time code. Um, going off you know it has a light built into it so close that so yeah what you saw there it was zone two the front pull station but it's not active so I'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of the EMI detection so yes that was zone one this is also tied the start hitter is also tied into zone one as well so we're gonna reset Close panel. Yep. Let's see. The fire eliminator 800 DLPS. It's by homemade. And a fire alarm system. Fire alarm systems. I'm going to get the uh, the magnet for the detector. Um, this panel only works for four wire detectors. Um, it will not work for two wire. It will burn up two wire detectors. And no, I didn't use my i3 on it. So. Still looking for an, uh, still looking for an uh, two wide. Uh, I'm sorry, four wire detector. But well, here's the uh, here's the D two seven three. So we're gonna go ahead and activate here. Any time now. There it goes. Sometimes, you know, we'll uh, lead out that. We'll reset it from the uh, watch the detector light go out. Actually, you know, I'll reset from the panel. Just for the hell of it. <clears throat> that thing is so loud. It vibrates the wall. I'm going to show you that right now, actually. Actually, no, I'll show you that later. We'll reset. Uh, reset here. reset now I see I try everything to stop the EMI I use aluminum foil and then also use shielded wire that's why I change out some of the wire here um, to stop it kind of works but not a whole lot I'm just trying to figure out how to get rid of the EMI detection okay so the detector is done I'm gonna go ahead and activate the uh, the BG12 the firelight BG12 so we'll go ahead here my tool this uh hex key tool. Okay. We'll light on. And let's pull it and we'll sign it to buy an outsider. So there we go. Now what's where's the uh log STR 
and Yaris strobe. So I'll reset here. Reset. And we'll start anywhere reset by the not seater. Okay. Also, this is the key switch for the enable controls, so you won't work until you enable it again. Oh, you gotta wait to the panel. It says a backlight timer. See? It has a little lockout, has a little lock on the control lock on the uh, not seater. Okay, I guess we'll do the uh, the coding options on the on the uh, the NAC encoder. So right now I see a little flashing red light, the yellow light that tells you when it's, it's in March time. So your this button right here will reset it. Turn it off here. Oh, you can't see that. Okay, there we go. This little button. So you see the yellow light stopped. Now it's solid. So it's it's gonna. So now you can choose a coding option. So I'm gonna choose code three. I should do a code three. Tap roll, there it goes. That's doing that. Do a manual back. <laughs> this panel and walk test. We'll do that next. Set that up. So we'll we'll do a walk test and uh this is, oh, it's like 11 minutes already. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we'll reset the encoder. Not sure you can see it, but it stopped flashing. It's just solid. Um, this is continuous code 3 March time, slow March. And I think in code 4 4. So, just slow March. The 2001 style. You guys, you guys will like this. Vibrates the wall. Silence. This thing vibrates the wall. Like vibrates it. Like I don't know. There is a little screw in the back uh, to hold the box. Not puncturing the wall, but puncturing the uh, puncturing the uh, what's it called? The strips. So it gets an extra hole because that thing is heavy. Reset. Now the code four four. Oh, I gotta wait till the backlight goes out. Here we go. See how it does that little thing when the light comes on and the alarm? It, see? It says it's there, but it's not active. The silence. See, it says it's there, but it's not active. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get rid of the EMIs. Uh, let me know in the comments below, too. Okay, reset. All right, this is this is the uh, most craziest one. Um, continuous. Yeah, and we'll do a walk test too. Um, so this is gonna be crazy. Actual tool on the annunciator. So I want to go off for at least three three seconds, and I'm gonna silence it because this thing can be annoying. This thing gonna be. I was probably gonna. Everyone's gonna probably hate me for this. <laughs> Yeah, that took about two seconds. We'll silence that. Reset, I mean. Okay. Now we can do we can now do the walk test. This will enable. So once I put this magnet by it, this little pin right here. This walk test. Once I put this on, it should display it. And a trouble light will come on. And you can tell now we're in walk test mode. Now if I go ahead and it will it will pull this uh simplex Pull station, it'll, um, it'll, um, crap. It will basically tell you what zone is. It'll beep uh, a couple of times. Uh, this one should be first. This should be one. That little beep you saw there tells that it's confirmed. The zone is confirmed. 
I'm not gonna do this tactic today because it's I already did it before, so we'll go all do uh zone two, which is the BG12. Open that up. See, we got a trouble, so you need to walk test. Zone two. You know, reset, and you can tell it actually did reset the, the smoke detector relay in case there was a smoke detector in the zone. Okay, there it is. Let's take a walk test. Yeah, walk test and reset. If you leave that on, it will go back into walk test. So, so yeah. There's the new panel. Um, still, still working on it. Still, to, still working on how to get rid of the EMIs on it. So, screw in there to lock it. So yeah, now there's fire alarm system test three. Uh, this took longer than I expected. So, yeah, so there it is. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching.